What's good, Day Tribute Gang? Welcome to another episode of Hump Day Haul, where I basically do a haul on Wednesday of a random category. I just went grocery shopping, shopping. see one of my bags right here. Shout out to HEB though, because they require you to use a reusable bag. I love that for the environment. I have three bags worth of groceries. Okay, these are like typical items that I would get on a grocery run. I don't like necessarily time out my grocery runs. Like I don't do it like every two weeks on the dot. I really just try to buy my food, use it up, make it last, and then just go to the store whenever I'm running low on something. I really have been focusing on like not eating out and trying to save money. So um, I've been eating like what I have, so I was really low on everything. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Okay, so I can kind of show you what I got. Somebody had requested that I do a what I eat in a day type of video. Um, so I guess this is like kind of like kind of. I mean, I still might do what I eat in a day, but you know, this kind of. When I go to a grocery store, I usually get meats, a starch, and a vegetable like for my meals. And then I'll get frozen fruit because I like to make Greek yogurt parfaits and meal prep them and I just like sit them in the fridge and whenever I wanna eat it, I just grab it. And then I might get special stuff like minced garlic or whatever. So I got this Kerrygold butter. I love this butter, it's really good. I just got some shrimp, just large shrimp. They're already de-veined, which is key. I don't like that little boo-boo string at the end of shrimp. My plan for this is to make some shrimp Pasta. I also got just some chicken drumsticks. They're not organic, but they are like natural, no antibiotics. Honestly, the organic chicken that they had looked disgusting. Like it did not look like they should be selling it. Needless to say, I did not get it. I just got kind of the closest thing to it. I try to eat relatively healthy. I don't buy canned food. If I'm buying vegetables, it's either fresh or frozen. I don't eat a lot of dairy. I don't buy cheese. I don't buy milk. I try to eat relatively healthy, but sometimes I eat out. I have this 100% grass-fed ground beef. Again, this is not organic, but it's grass-fed, so it's better than no, and it's no antibiotics or growth, growth hormones. So it's better than nothing, but they didn't have an organic one. Generally, if they have an organic option of something, I'm gonna go for the organic option. Now, for when I'm being lazy, I got these beef sausages. That's another thing I don't, I try not to eat pork. I'm not gonna say I don't, cause sometimes I do, but if I can help it, I don't eat pork. So I just got these for when I'm feeling lazy and I don't feel like cooking, I can just warm one up real quick and have it. I also got some salmon, a little loaf of bread. As far as milk, this, milk is the goat extra creamy oat milk it's so good like it is so good i like swear by it so i was saying i don't eat a lot of dairy but i did get some heavy whipping cream with the shrimp pasta i was gonna try to do it with the oat milk but it just sometimes doesn't get that like creamy pasta sauce texture but this is the only dairy item in my whole are eggs dairy? Well, if eggs are dairy, then there's one more dairy item. I got some eggs. I usually get cage-free large brown eggs. I usually get like cage-free and organic because there is a difference, but I feel like cage-free is also good because when you have an animal in a cage, just think of how a human body reacts to stress. There are chemicals that are released into your body like when you are stressed. So imagine having an animal in a cage and all these chemicals are like releasing into their body and then you're eating from that animal. Like you're ingesting all those harmful chemicals and like stress hormones and things that the animal was producing and that's going into your body. That's one reason why I like cage-free because it's like less stressful for the animals and I don't know, that it makes sense to me. So that's why I get it. All right, two bags down, one bag to go. So here we have this Ezekiel 
Four nine cereal. So this is something new. I've never tried this before. I do like to eat cereal sometimes, and I've been eating lately Frosted Flakes and Lucky Charms. They have a lot of sugar. After I eat it, I just feel so bad. So no refined sugar. Total sugar is eight grams. That's pretty good. It has iron, niacin, diamond, magnesium, zinc, manganese, selenium, vitamin B. Pretty, pretty, you know, good cereal alternative so you can still get like that crunch with that milk you know but a little bit healthier i got some baby spinach because this will go with the um, shrimp pasta that i'm gonna make i also got some red lentil pasta this is also for the shrimp pasta when i do get pasta i usually get either a whole wheat pasta or like a black bean pasta or a quinoa pasta or something like that just to make the meal like a little bit healthier. I was actually listening to a podcast earlier today where they were interviewing the founder of this company, Hint This Water. So I wanted to try it. I just happened to pass by it in the store. So I was like, I wanna try it. It's not fruit infused water. It basically has like a hint of a fruit taste, but it's not like sweetened or anything like that. So I was very curious. I also got some baby red potatoes. When I go grocery shopping, I buy and like meals. So with the shrimp, I'm gonna make pasta. With the salmon, I'm gonna use the baby red potatoes and then I already remember that I had some frozen vegetables in my freezer. With the chicken, I plan on making rice and then either a salad or something on the side. Like I always have a meal in mind. I got some grapes, something to snack on or I can eat that like for my breakfast. Then I got some frozen fruit. Like I was saying earlier, I like to make my little fruit parfaits. And this one has mango, papaya, and strawberry. And then this one just only has pineapple. This is also for my shrimp pasta. I got some Julian sun-dried tomatoes. I got some shallots, which is basically like a type of onion. That's also for the pasta. <laughs> and then I got some uh, minced garlic and I got the organic one. This is also for the pasta, but like you can also use it for cooking other meals. Always good to have. And that's it for my grocery haul. I try my best to eat as healthy as I can. I slip up sometimes. Sometimes I might buy a bag of chips. Oh, <laughs> I forgot this one last thing. I got this <laughs> triple chocolate cream cake. Ooh, so good. I'm probably gonna get a piece right now. Fun fact, I do not like eating room temperature cake. I always have to put my cake in the microwave for like 10 seconds just to warm it up a little bit. It just, it just brings out the flavor. Like it just makes it taste like just a little bit more better. I'm trying to do better with eating healthy. So the idea is if you buy it, you'll eat it. But if you don't buy it, you won't eat it. So nine times out of 10, if it's late at night and I want something unhealthy like a bag of chips or something and it's not in my house, I'm not leaving my house because I'm lazy. And if it's not in my house, then I won't eat it. That's kind of how I try to like think about it. If I'm not buying unhealthy stuff, chances are I probably won't eat unhealthy stuff. So I've just been trying to discipline myself when going grocery shopping. And I'll allow myself a couple items like the cake and whatever else I got that was unhealthy. But for the most part, I try to like keep it pretty good. I hope you enjoyed this installment of Hump Day Haul. Let me know if there's a specific category or something else that you want me to do a haul over and I will see if I can make that happen for you. Comment down below what you think is the total price of everything that I bought today. I have the receipt right here in front of me so I know exactly how much it costs. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification, hit the, hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. And I will see you guys in the next one.